Dear learners, welcome to the NIOS studio. Today, the topic that we are going to deal is fluids and the properties of fluids. And the main objective of this topic is to make the understanding of fluids, make the understanding and the calculation of hydrostatic pressure. Now, what is actually a fluid? So it is nothing but the name given to a substance which begins to flow when an external force is applied on it. Therefore, we can state that whatever the substance it is, when an external force is applied and it begins to slide or to flow, then we can say yes, it is a fluid. For example, water, a honey, the liquid metal which is known as mercury, they all are existing to be a fluid. First, we should know that what is actually a pressure. I have this paper which is a simple A4 size sheet folded into four folds along with whom I have two types of pin. One of them is a flatter pin and the other is a very sharp pin. The flatter pin have a large area comparative to the sharp pin. When we try to put a pressure on this paper, I need to imply more force. Even then, the flatter pin does not pass through the paper. Whereas, while doing the same thing with the sharp pin, if I try to imply a force with this pin, it can easily pass through the folded sheets. From here, we come to know the lesser the area, the more the pressure. And this more pressure can easily be attained by using a simple pin. The most common fluid that exists in day-to-day -day life is water. So, we will take the example of water and try to explain the properties of fluids that is hydrostatic pressure. How to analyze that what amount of pressure is exerted by a fluid? First of all, the normal force is exerted by a liquid at rest. The normal force is also known as thrust. Therefore, we can say that the normal force exerted by a liquid at rest per unit area of a surface in contact with the fluid is called pressure of liquid and most famously known as hydrostatic pressure. The pressure is given by force per unit area. The emphasis is that the implied force is normal to the surface of an object which is in contact with the fluid. In this diagram, we try to show the structure of a dam where the water is filled up till a certain height. As you can see, the lower structure of the dam is much wider and as we increase the height, the structure of the dam gets narrow. Why is it so? The answer lies that the pressure increases with the depth and you can see the lower structure of the dam is made wider comparative at the height. Since the height increases, the wideness or can say the structure of dam becomes narrow. In this diagram, we try to explain that when a jar is taken, which is filled with water till a certain height, and a cube having a symmetric surface is dipped into that water, the water implies normal thrust on each surface of that cube, where F is a normal force and the surface area is given by the capital A of an object which is in contact with the liquid. Now we can demonstrate the same example that has been denoted by the diagram by using a glass filled with a water till a certain level. When I release this cell on the surface of the water which is at rest, 
in the glass, it will dip till the bottom of the jar. Now you can see the cell is not moving anywhere. And through this, we can analyze that the water which is at rest is implying the force at every side, at every surface of this particular shape. Through this, we confirm that yes, when the liquid is at rest, it implies pressure in equilibrium condition, which is on every surface of its shape. The units of pressure is given by Newton per meter square or Pascal and the dimensional formula is given by m l minus 1 t minus 2. Next we will see that what would be the hydrostatic pressure at a point inside a liquid. We will consider a liquid in a container and an imaginary right circular cylinder of cross sectional area which is denoted by capital A and the height h. We had plotted a diagram giving the condition of a hydrostatic pressure. The cylinder in this condition in a state of equilibrium. Here we can see when the cylinder is in a equilibrium condition, the pressure exerted by the upper pressure and the upward thrust by the liquid is at the lower bottom side. Since an object is there which is having its own height, will also be having its own mass which is attracted by the gravity. Since it is in equilibrium condition, therefore we can say that the total force implied is equals to zero. At the upper side, the total force is given by F1 and in the same direction, mass into gravity product is given. And from the lower side, an upward thrust is implied given by F2. Now, in terms of pressure, we need to elaborate this equation. And force is given by the product of pressure into area. Mass is nothing but given by the product of density of an object into the volume where the volume can also be elaborated in the form of the product of area into height of the cylindrical object and minus F2 as you can see from this equation area is a common term which will left us this term G is due to the availability of the weight. Therefore, we need to multiply g in this equation also. And the left tower term is given by this. When we try to solve this equation, the answer is given by therefore, the pressure implied by the liquid is given by the pressure difference for the upward thrust implied by the liquid, the pressure at the upper surface area, which is the solution for the product of height of the cylindrical object, the density of an object and the gravity implied over to the object. We got the conclusion that pressure difference is given by H into rho into G. And it is due to a fluid which increases linearly with the depth. If we consider the upper face of the cylinder to be at the open surface of the liquid, therefore, or can say the P2, the upper surface pressure is replaced by the pressure of the atmosphere. And again, by considering the same difference, you will get the same answer, which again depends on the height of the object. Pressure does not depend on the shape of the vessel. And to prove it, we are showing this diagram. Here you can see there are different shapes of the vessel, but the level of the water lie to be same. And we know that the pressure is given by the product of height, the density of the liquid and the gravity. Therefore, in all the four apparatuses, the pressure is same.
we had already denoted the amount of pressure at certain point and they are denoted by the points A, B, C, D and the E. And at those points, the amount of pressure implied by those liquid are same. Till now, what we had learned that hydrostatic pressure existed with the variation of height and it also depends on the lower and the upper surface area of an object and pressure does not depend on the shape of the vessel. Thank you.